I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. In this video, we are going to discuss in details how to sketch transformed reciprocal trigonometric function. We'll sketch the graph of the function y equals to cosecant half of x minus 3 pi by 4 plus 3. We'll also state the domain and range. Now let's try to understand this. Cosecant is a reciprocal of sine. So I could also think about writing this as 1 over sine of half of x minus 3 pi by 4. And then we will translate it 3 units up, right? So that is going to be our strategy. So in step number 1, let me say we are going to sketch the graph for sine of half x. So step 1, we are going to sketch graph of sine of half x. Correct? Step 2, we'll sketch the, we'll translate it 3 pi by 4 units to the right. So that is to say, we'll sketch sine of half x minus 3 pi by 4. And in step 3, we are going to sketch the reciprocal of this. That is to say, we'll sketch cosecant half of x minus 3 pi by 4. And finally, in step 4, we are going to translate it 3 units up. So we'll get the graph for cosecant 1 over, I mean, half of x minus 3 pi by 4 plus 3. Is it okay? So final graph will be our step number 4. So that is how we will move in a sequence to understand all the concepts. Let's say this is our y-axis. And uh, how many units we have? 1, 2, 3 I could take, 4. Okay, so we will take this as our x-axis. First step, of course, is we have sine of half x. What is the time period t? So time period t for this function will be 2 pi by half, correct? So that gives us 4 pi. So 4 pi is the time period for the function sine of half x. Now, since we have to translate 3 pi by 4, I am going to actually uh, divide pi into four equal parts. So one, two, three, four. So that is going to be our pi, correct? So this is going to be pi. So one, two, three, four, that is going to be two pi. One, two, three, four, three pi. One, two, three, four, four pi. One, two, three, four will be five pi. So let me write here, well, this will be our pi, two pi. 3 pi, 4 pi, one time period, 5 pi. So I'll just sketch one cycle. To get sine of half x, our amplitude is 1. Let this be 1 for us and this be minus 1 for us. Clear? So, so that is going to be starting with 0, maximum, 0, minimum and 0. Correct? So that is how the cycle is going to move. And uh, now joining these points, we should get our graph, right? So, um, so we have here starting with zero, maximum zero, minimum zero, right? And then again, it will move to maximum at five pi. So let me sketch this portion. So we get this graph. time period being 4 pi. Clear? Okay. So we have got the first part of it, which is sine of half x. So this is sine half x. Clear? Now the next part is translating this 3 pi by 4 units to the right. 
Now 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, this is 3 pi by 4. So these points are going to shift 3 pi by 4 units to the right. So that means 3 units to the right, kind of like this. You're getting my point, right? So every point here, so we have a curve this time, which will be like this, right? So this point 1, 2, 3 moves there. So we have a minimum here, this, right? This point 1, 2, 3 will move here. So we have a maximum zero here and then this is going to continue is it clear to you so this graph is the second graph where we have translated the sine function 3 pi by 4 to the right is that clear now let's look into the reciprocal part so when we are talking about reciprocal clearly at zero we'll get a vertical asymptote correct So these are the vertical asymptotes. They are not part of our domain. So that is a restriction for the function cosecant x. It's a periodic function, so we'll have both sides the same thing. Correct? So, well, if you want to complete this, 1, 2, 3, 4, it will have minimum at this point here. Correct? So we have our sine function, we have these vertical asymptotes, clear? Now, looking into this cosecant function, which is reciprocal of this, means reciprocal of 1 is 1, right? And half will be 2, okay? So, so accordingly, this graph uh, will be, so for sine, Half is at pi by 3, 6, right? So pi by 6, anyway. So now we have moved. So pi by 6, kind of here, will be half. So we'll go approximately. So from here, we can go like this. So that is cosecant function, correct? So on this side, also negative portion will have from here coming downwards now this is kind of not in our scale but i hope you understand how we are going to draw it once we shift it three units up this will be absolutely clear is it okay so we have our reciprocal function and now finally let us get our function y equals to cosecant half of x minus 3 pi by 4 plus 3 means we are going to use translation of vertical translation of 3 units so this will go to from 1 it will go up by 1 2 and 3 so this point here will now move to this point so we have a graph here which is going to be uh, moving upwards from here which is the point at 1 2 3 4 is it clear so from here, this is a vertical asymptote. So we have a graph which will be kind of like this. Is that clear? So this is the positive half. On the negative half, the axis of the graph will move from 0 to 3. So 1, 2, 3. So that is the kind of our axis now. The negative portion can now be very clearly seen. So that is one, two, three parts here will be going up to two, right? So moving three up, here it was negative one. So that is going to be like this. Is that clear to you? Right, so, so in this case, maximum will be around this point and it will look like this is that clear to you so the graph in green is our final function and these are the steps to be followed is that clear that is how we are going to sketch the graph of cosecant half of x minus 3 pi by 4 you can also find the coordinate points do the translation and get your graph 
but I hope you understand and appreciate this particular method. So here, first we found the time period, which is going to be 4 pi. We sketched the sine function with a time period of 4 pi. Translated this 3 pi by 4 to the right. And then sketched the reciprocal of that, marking the vertical asymptotes at the x-intercepts. Positive half remains positive, negative remains negative. Then we translated that three units up to sketch the final graph. Perfect. Now we can write domain range. So as you can see here, the domain is all real numbers except these points, right? So, so 3 pi by 4 is not there. Plus we do not have a 2 pi plus 3 pi by 4. Right, so, so we, in our, so 2n pi plus 3 pi by 4, so, so basically, as is not equal to 2n pi plus pi by 4, is that okay? So, the domain can be written as x belongs to real numbers so that x is not equal to 2n pi plus 3 pi by 4. Those are the vertical asymptotes. Now as far as the range is concerned, range as you can see after the translation by 3 units up will be y belongs to real numbers where y is either greater than or equal to 4 or y is less than or equal to 3, uh, 2, right? So this is 2 for us as we move 3 units up. That is going to be the range. So that is how we are going to define the range. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and... All the best.